Hello everybody, it's me Anirudh back again with yet another video. So I uh, I am going to start with the video uh, finding target emails with the harvester, and we are going to cover one more tool called uh, discover also. So let us begin. So what we will be learning in this lecture? Hello everybody, I am Anirudh. And we will be learning how to discover email addresses with the harvester and discover. So everyone boot up your Kali machines and let's get started. So the first tool we are going to cover is the harvester. All right. All right. Uh, let's boot up the Kali machines and let's hit up the terminal. So let me go back to the PDF and the slideshow right here. So the first tool we are going to cover is the harvester. This one comes pre-installed with Kali Linux, whereas the second one, discover, does it. So we will be learning how to use two tools, which are the harvester and discover, and how to install tools that do not come pre-installed with Kali Linux from GitHub. So let's get started. So uh, why gather emails for a pen test? So harvesting email addresses is a common part of an external penetration test. Several tools exist that can easily be found with a simple Google search that can greatly decrease the amount of time spent combining, sorry, combing through uh, search engine results. So external pen tests are where you social engineer employees of companies to gain access. So uh, you can run the harvester from the terminal like the H A R and hit tab to auto complete. So whenever you are running any other com any command like if con and I type tab, it auto completes it. It auto completes it for me in Linux. So you can just do the harvester and it will give you this help menu because we haven't actually uh, used anything yet. So I'm just going to uh, clear my screen and I'm going to type the harvester and dash dash help so let us assume that i don't know how to use this tool and we are going to do a dash dash help all right so this this is going to give us a help menu so the usage is the harvester dash h is for help dash d is for domain dash l for limit dash s so we have all that here dash h is for help this sh uh, show this help message uh, and exit i don't know what it means dash d is for domain or dash dash domain uh, company name or domain to search all right dash l is limit dash dash limit limit the number of search result the default is 500 uh, we are going to modify that in a minute because we don't want to comb through 500 results because that's a lot of stuff on a terminal screen if you do uh, if you do want to actually do that you can do that it is all up to you you can experiment with a lot of these uh, switches all right, right. Uh, this is to start start with the result number x d3 oh, yeah we're not going to touch that dash g is google doc use uses google doc for this. all right dash p is proxy use proxies for requests enter proxies in proxies dot y uh, yaml so we are not going to touch proxies as well because we are, we are only going to gather email addresses and that's not a huge problem though uh, dash s is for shorten all right shorten is also good dash dash screenshot all right shorten we are going to cover that in the future lectures so you're not going to have to worry about that uh, whatever tool i uh, i mean the switch i am not covering in this lecture you are feel free to go ahead and research about them and use them according to your pen test or whatever you are doing with this tool also, I recommend you guys not to do any bad stuff with it because YouTube has already imposed an instructional hacking ban. So most probably my videos will get demonetized once I hit 1000 subscribers. Also, uh, this is a good time to mention that we are pretty, pretty close to 50 subscribers. We are, to be honest, we are only 12 away. So if you could take the time, check if you're subscribed and if you're not, please do. That would make my day really, really happy. Now, going on. Dash V is dash dash virtual host or dash dash virtual host verify host name via dns resolution and search for virtual hosts all right dash e is for dns server or dash dash dns dash server 
is for DNS server, DNS server to use for lookup. All right, dash T is DNS TLD, dash R is dash dash takeover, dash N is DNS lookup, dash C is DNS brute force, dash F is file name, dash B is source. We are not going to cover a lot of these. So guys, please do feel free to go ahead, check them out, experiment with them and feel free to ask me in the comments if you have any doubts. So for the harvester and I'm going to do a dash D domain. Uh, we can do, let's say, facebook.com. All right, we are on facebook.com. Uh, we can do a facebook.com. And if I hit enter, all right, that doesn't work. We can do a udemy.com as well. can do udemy.com all right or we can do uh, companies I can actually can use the harvester on all right geeks for geeks dot org All right, so give me a second. Let me figure out the technical issue right here and I'll get back to you right away. Yeah, so I actually forgot to mention a switch right there. So I'm going to do, yeah, dash dash hell. So we cannot see some switches. Yeah, dash dash, we need to mention a dash F and we need to mention dash B. Uh, they both are pretty important. So let me see if dash B is mentioned here. Yes, the source. We need to mention the source. So I can do facebook.com. We are going to list it to 100. Or actually, we are going to limit it to 100 because 500 is a lot. And we are going to do dash B. And the source, you can use any source. So Baidu, Bing, Ben, Pai. So I'm going to use that, that go because that doesn't track any, that doesn't keep any tracks actually on whatever you're doing like Google does. And we're going to do a dash F and we're going to call it dash results dot HT. Yep, that's it. Yeah, now it is going to search through it. Uh, I'll just pause the video for now and when it's done, I'm going to get back to you guys. Oh, I didn't, I did not actually have to do it. Nice. So if I do an ls, uh, give me a second. Yeah, we have a Facebook results.xml. So that should, yeah, we have a Facebook results.html. So that is the web browser interface. That is something we need. We don't need this. We need this. So I can just put this. I'm just going to clear my trash because I don't like full trash bins. All right, so here this lists uh, information for us. Nope, I'm not going to zoom in. So we have some IP addresses. We have some subdomains right here. And we have the sources from DuckDuckGo. We have some sources from DNS resolver and also right here we have yeah that's it we actually haven't found any email addresses so bad for us and good for Facebook so Facebook job well done so that's it for uh, the harvester you can actually go ahead and experiment with these uh, and moving on to the next tool which is discover so if you can see I have discover right here on my desktop uh, let me just remove this uh, to show you guys how to actually install. So if you guys remember, how do I remove this file? rm-rf. Uh, rf also stands for folder. And 
I just remove this cover and now this cover is gone. Alright, now how to install tools from GitHub? So we can do, we need uh, so search for, so don't search for anything yet. Now you can just say, uh, let us say what, discover and GitHub. So this will give us the results for the GitHub uh, page for the tool we need to install and how do we install it? You hit on code and you see this, you hit on this clipboard so it is copied and you are going to do git clone. Uh, git is a package manager for GitHub which you can use to install direct repositories on Linux. Windows, Mac OS. Windows and Mac OS need the installation of the Git framework but whereas Linux comes pre-installed with it and Control shift v to paste it. Now it is cloning the repository onto my desktop. If I do NLS, I can find discover right here. Now I am going to change my directory to discover and I am going to list it. So there are a lot of eye-catching green stuff right here. We are not going to actually care about anything. We All we need is discover.sh. Uh, now what I'm going to do is, if you remember in the Linux fundamentals one or two, if uh, to run uh, shell scripts, we need to do dot forward slash discover.sh. It usually ends with an sh. So if I do, if I hit enter, now, yeah, discover works. Now, uh, this is the footprinting reconnaissance. Uh, the first phase uh, we are taking practical at. So, I'm going to search for the main. As you can see, we have the main two parts, which uh, two parts, I mean, two types of reconnaissance or footprinting types we, uh, we read about yesterday. I mean, we defined yesterday active, passive import names into an existing recon ng workspace or yeah don't care about this we are going to do a passive reconnaissance all right so company or domain so i'm going to do facebook domain dot com and it is going to search through i will get back to you as soon as the search results come back so guys, I just found out it's going to be a lot of time. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I'll make sure to post this, uh, post another video in the next two days time span. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next one. Bye bye.